Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. It's good to have the opportunity again to share with you. Many people um, feel they don't get enough time in the day to pray. And uh, because we have so many things to do during the day and uh, as a consequence, people feel that uh, prayer is something that you do when you've got time. Well, in a sense, we're looking at it from the wrong, in the wrong way and in the wrong direction, because it's not um, how can I find time to pray, it's how can I become prayer itself. And I think that really the problem is that we like to compartmentalize uh, things in our head about this is time for this and this is time for something else. And yet, if we look at things in a totally different way, in a holistic way, we can understand how God wishes to uh, show himself to us in everything we do. There's a hymn that says, um, Teach me, my God and King, in all things thee to see, and what I do in anything, to do it as for thee. Well, you see, anything that I do, anything you do, can be a form of prayer. Uh, no matter how busy we might be during the day, and however great our responsibilities may be. For some of you may uh, um, find it difficult uh, to uh, pray in the accepted sense of, of the people understand about setting a certain time aside for prayer because perhaps uh, you have responsibilities. For example, you may be looking after and caring for a loved one who is sick. Um, you may have a job that is very tiring and stressful. Um, you may be busy in home. Um, you may have family responsibilities uh, that are um, take all your time up. But the danger is then that we see this, uh, these things that we do as something separate uh, from prayer, where we should approach everything we do as an opportunity to seek and to find God in what we do. Um, because um, we are made body, uh, mind and spirit. Our humanity, the pe person you are and I am, we are one a whole, that is, how God has made us. So those aspects, if you like, of who you or I are, are one, one thing, not separate realities. I am body, I'm a physical being, and I thank God for uh, who has created me and the wonder of my being, and my humanity, and for the gifts he wishes to pour upon me. But I have uh, the mind, the intellectual reasoning and capacity uh, to um, understand the meaning of things and to, to uh, in the mental capacity that seeks to organize things in my daily life but i am spirit too and my the so all these things come together as an integrated whole so to think of prayer as a separate activity from the whole whole package is uh, misleading 
and it will only lead to a greater frustration and anxiety because we feel that we're not praying or we haven't got time to pray. Whereas in fact, all our time can be prayer, a form of prayer. So in a sense, really, it doesn't matter what I'm doing, whether I'm shopping, whether I'm looking after somebody, uh, whether I'm at work, um, and uh, it's not, in a sense, what I do, it's the love with which I do it. That um, So directing uh, my actions in a prayerful and recollected spirit, so that uh, underneath what I do, there is that foundation that is built on solid rock, so that no matter how much the storms and uh, uh, storms of um, potential uh, anxiety and and worry may seek to shake my life, I have a solid foundation that underpins all my activity. If you desire, as I, and I do desire to, desire to uh, God, we want to seek God in everything, then nothing that we do is not prayer, a form of prayer. So um, it's not really then the question, how can I find more time to pray? It's how can I become prayer? To allow the Holy Spirit to pray within me, to make sense of everything I do, and so that underpinning my activity, I wish uh, my intention to be single-minded and focused upon the, the lo uh, upon loving and serving God. How oh, to become prayer? It's not something. Uh, again, that uh, I need to worry about. I just need to understand that uh, whatever happens to me in life, whatever I have to do each day, there is the one who knows me and loves me and cares for me and who will uh, protect me also for more harm and worry. You see, the evil one seeks to uh, focus upon one's uh, potential weaknesses, uh, whether it be the aspect uh, in our body or our mind or the spirit. Uh, but we are one uh, whole and we stand before God in that completeness that he has made us, body, mind, and spirit. So uh, the, my whole life, everything I do, um, even if it's not, as it were, conscious prayer, if it's directed and intended to and towards the good of all good, then I'm allowing God to pray within me so that I may become prayer and that I may become one with him. There's no aspect of my life, you see, and your life, that is uh, outside the loving gaze of the Lord. And, uh, of course, uh, we must be always uh, vigilant uh, so that we may uh, 
not allow that which is not of God to enter into our way of thinking and way of acting. But if my intention deep within me is to seek only God's will, then no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm at the bedside of a sick person who I care for, um, whether I have to, perhaps I'm a, a father or a mother having, having the responsibilities of caring and, and looking after my children, um, no matter what I'm doing, if I seek the good, then God seeks me. You see, we think we seek God, but in fact, you see, he seeks you. He seeks you in all the things you do. And uh, the greater one understands, the deeper uh, one's awareness of this fact increases one's love. And the deeper one's love, the more one is aware that nothing, nothing is outside his gaze and his mercy and his love. My dear friend, we live in a world that is full of, of many evils. We are witnessing, sadly, the breakdown in our society and, and also an attack upon the Christian faith. But uh, we must try to understand that what gives a Christian strength is uh, to seek only the kingdom of God and everything will be given to us in full measure. To seek the kingdom of God within. So that to seek the kingdom of God within means that everything we do makes sense in, that, in relation to that. God will never abandon you. God loves you. God cares for you. No matter if you're going through a difficult patch for the moment, God cares for you. God loves you. Let us uh, then indeed pray, that is, desire to become prayer in it, and to allow the Holy Spirit to pray within us in everything we do. And uh, the more we desire that, the more our daily activities will take their right place and shape within the framework of uh, God's kingdom. God bless you today, and I pray for you and your intentions. Pray for me that my ministry may be pleasing to God. God bless you.